Bridgewater neighborhood is just starting to clean up after a broken dam left homes and yards flooded out. WBZ's Beth Germano is live in East Bridgewater for us tonight. And Beth, what a mess there when you look at those photos. Oh, it is an absolute headache for these residents. They usually have about four feet of beachfront in front of their home. Now their homes, as you can see, are part of the pond that they live on. Unfortunately, now downstream from a broken dam. These East Bridgewater residents woke up to something they've never seen before. Their homes surrounded by water on Robin's Pond. It was up another two feet, and then another 30 minutes later, it was another up another two feet. Then another half an hour, it was up to these poles, and then it got into the house. Chris Hill's sump pump is now in overdrive with water in his home. It was from the back. What the water is, it flows all the way back into the bedroom, into everything. And Lisa Jason rushing to protect what she can. We started to get um, sandbags, and by the time I came back, uh, it had already made it up to the, the oil tank, and I was trying to get them in place, and I couldn't do it fast enough. This drone video shows the problem. A 20-foot section of an earthen dam upriver in Halifax gave way, sending water rushing and inundating these homes, around vehicles, through yards, and even threatening to compromise a causeway that's being stressed by the water. If they cover it underneath, let's go, and washes away. There's no stopping this water now. This resident took to his canoe to check the damage and assesses how high the water has been rising. See the end of the fence? The end of that fence is probably six feet out, and then the water table would start there, the edge of the shore. But he jokes for the first time fresh water actually has a tide that everyone hopes will soon go out. Take a quick look inside. Chris Hill will be dealing with considerable damage to flooring and furniture, but he puts it in perspective. Worst things happening in the world, and me getting a new swimming pool in the backyard. The swimming pool you didn't ask for. Yeah. <laughs> Now, at least at this home, they're hoping the AC and heating units that you're looking at have not been damaged, but they won't know until the water does recede. It has receded a little bit. They've made progress, but there's still quite a ways to go. Now, these residents tell me they don't have flood insurance. It hasn't been required because this is not a flood-prone area. Reporting live from East Bridgewater, I'm Beth Germano, WBZ News. Oh, Beth, thank you.